Welcome back to A Peaceful Pursuit. There are quite a few new faces around here, so I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for subscribing. This has been a dream of mine to do YouTube, to create videos. Since I was a 14 year old girl, I just have always enjoyed the process so much. I love the creative outlet. It just took me until the past year to figure out what kind of videos I actually wanted to make, which is homemaking. So I'm so excited that you're here and excited to continue growing along with you. And I just wanna take you along on a few different days in today's video. I'm just starting off by taking some time to read my Bible. This is something that I usually do in the mornings with my baby. Sorry, he's playing in the background. Uh, we usually read in the mornings, but I was taking some time myself to read as well because we were preparing to go on a vacation so the topic of this video i still want to talk about it but i ended up not getting as much footage as i would have liked which i think actually works out because it goes right along with the topic <laughs> uh, but here i am hanging up the shelf that i bought at the thrift store i shared this in a previous video and i'm just hanging it in our room i'm trying it out for a while i think it's actually supposed to be in the bathroom or something but i just think it's really pretty and i want to decorate it with just some, I don't know, light and airy, like natural element type things. So I'm trying that out, even though I don't have the decor yet for the shelf, but I'm trying it out here with this Better Together sign above it, and we will see how it goes. But that is kind of what I wanted to share today, is just moving the needle in your homemaking, just day by day doing things bit by bit it takes so much time our house we have been in our house for about two years and i still like have so much that i want to get done so much it, and it's not even necessarily house projects like we have a list of those things too but that never ends when you are a homeowner but there's just like decor and things that i want you know like the vibe the feeling that i want my home to give when someone walks into it there's just so many things and it can easily become very overwhelming but I just have to remember to move the needle day by day and over time it it will come together and it's also okay to just try things and leave them as they are for a bit like I said with that little decor spot in the master bedroom I'm gonna leave that for a while and if I don't like it I'll just take it down like it's not a huge deal so I think sometimes at least for me like I get caught in this thinking of that thinking that I'm going to be stuck with something and I'm really not I mean if you use anchors and screws and stuff that obviously puts bigger holes in your walls and then that's a little bit more to fix but little nail holes sometimes they're so small that if you take something down you can't even tell or let's say you put something else in its place then it really doesn't matter but also if you want to patch them up it takes two seconds like I just use some spackle and then let that dry put a little bit of paint over it and it's it can't even tell so it's really simple to just just move the needle a little bit and try things out to change them if they're not working if you don't like the feeling that it's giving because I know as a homemaker like when you walk into a home like you, you want that warm cozy inviting feeling and it, it cannot be described any other way than a feeling honestly which as a christian is kind of weird for me because i don't you know i don't decide things based on like how i feel but the home should produce just a sense of well-being coziness you know belonging just i don't know just all of those like cozy warm fuzzy feelings that's what that's what we are going for So I am working on some cheeseburger soup for dinner. This is a new favorite around here. I absolutely love it and it's so easy. I loosely follow the Farmhouse on Boone recipe, but I, I really don't. I just look at the ingredients and then I just make it myself. So it's just ground beef, salt, pepper, some shredded cheddar cheese, 
chicken. I only had chicken stock. I thought I had bought the bone broth from Aldi, but I accidentally bought the stock, so that's what I use. But I usually use their bone broth. And then, oh, what else? It's uh, uh, one onion, carrots, celery, and I believe that is it. And then I just kind of salt and pepper it to taste and add some cheese. I add a little bit of cheese to melt within the soup, and then we also top it with some shredded cheese and it is delicious but let's get back to the topic at hand so <laughs> i had wanted to film more footage for this but we ended up going on vacation and we took a little family trip just me my husband and our baby down to florida we went to the beach and we got an airbnb and it was wonderful i mean it it was as relaxing as it can be when you have an infant like our baby's really easy going he's honestly He's super easy and I do feel like I can say that because I worked in child care centers since I was 16 until like on and off until I had him I took a few years off to do what I had gone to college for and then I went back to working in child care um, so I've worked with a lot of babies and our baby like we're we're very blessed he's very easy going but you're still obviously not completely autonomous when you have an infant like you're kind of bound by their schedule a little bit even though we were loose with things but it was so nice just to get away to do something different to be in the nice warm sunny weather and it was fun to watch him experience things as well but I spent a lot of time just like planning and preparing for that trip because having an infant along too it was like wow there's an extra layer of things that I need to prepare for so yeah we're happy we're very happy to be home but it was it was nice and it just reminded me you know because i had to kind of pause on my homemaking stuff too so that we could be prepared to go on this trip i was like it's okay stuff will get done you know when we get back we will just pick back up obviously take a couple days to kind of recuperate and everything but we will get back into it and we will just continue on moving the needle taking care of things as they come and as I'm able and that is perfectly okay nothing has to be a rush and I really enjoy being more in that mindset because I've always been always been such a go 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 type of person and it's been really nice to have to learn how to slow down so I encourage you to do the same as you are able it really does just lead to more peace <laughs> so that brings me to the end I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next Friday